Welcome back to another Torch Review. I've got a small keychain light in from Mech Army today, and this was sent in via the company for review. It's the FL2, and I have the sandblasted version, but there are some different styles and designs that they have, different finishes for this particular model. So I've just put a shot up there for you so you can see that. Included with this, you get the user guide, and you'll notice that the light comes in a vacuum seal pack. So you just need to pull the tab on the side to open that up. It's just to protect the finish, even though this is titanium. Virtually all of the body is titanium with some stainless steel areas. And I put the size and dimensions on the screen. And this has quite a flat switch design. It's a longer style but it's also flush with the outer edge so it's one of those designs which is not going to be easy to activate and i'll show you the user interface later on with this here you can see the rest of the torch there's uh, grooves on the top part and we also have a quite a deep cover for the micro usb port which is good to see because it means once it's in place it will stay in position firmly so i haven't had any issues at all with that there's a small led light next to that as well this is using xpg2 s4 led and i'm just going to put the manual on screen quickly for you so you can have a look there they've got four power levels and a strobe and you'll note at the bottom it says that it drops down in five seconds it starts to drop after five seconds you see the drop down rates on that and we do a drop down test later on and this shows you the charging and there's your warranty they give you a limited lifetime warranty so comparing it next to the tip you can see it's quite a bit smaller than this model and next to the tinny or tiny if you prefer it's also a different style and design so longer but uh, thinner in other dimensions so it's definitely going to work quite well for keychain use now the ui from off you double click takes you to the low uh, long press takes it off triple press takes you to the turbo and when it's on a single press just cycles through the power levels and then the strobe mode is after the turbo mode so it takes a bit of getting used to it. it's an okay ui particularly with regards to not being able to accidentally activate it not 100 percent certain about the strobe mode if that's going to be particularly useful because you have to go to the turbo mode first and then another click takes you to the strobe so it might be useful if you need to get someone's attention in an emergency not really sure that it's going to be particularly useful if um, if you were sort of trying to distract an attacker or something like that. I have to admit, I do like the feel on this. It is the nicest keychain light that I have used in terms of build quality, but it's also the most expensive. So just bear that in mind. This is something which is going to appeal to people who are looking for a really premium product. You also get the micro USB cable included, fairly short one, and this is rated to IPX5 water resistance. So in practical terms, that means uh, shower proof. So it's not designed to be submersed. Now onto the charging test. The red LED comes on when it's charging, green when it's finished, and it took about an hour and a half, and the battery capacity is slightly above spec, 126 milliamp hours um, now this isn't a particularly big battery compared to some of the other keychain lights but we'll go on to the beam shots now highest output's rated to 360 lumens although the beam pattern is a bit different from the tip this is the high cri version so i'd say the tip probably has a little bit more power or at least it's filling it out in the outer regions of the image a bit more so we'll do some more beam shots and i'll come back with a few thoughts and a conclusion at the end
few thoughts using the Mech Army FL2. This is a very unusual design, but it works quite well for a keychain light or even a pocket torch because of the dimensions and the size. It's one of the smaller ones that I've used. They've made it a bit longer, so it's going to work much better on a keychain than some of the more traditional lights that I've looked at. Now, I also liked the design. It's quite different, and um, that's open to taste, and the sandblasted version has pretty good grip on it as well thanks to the texturing on the body. Good switch design, very difficult to activate it by accident. The UI does take a bit of getting used to, has to be said, but on the negative side, the battery level, no indicator for that, which is a strange omission. I'd also like a higher capacity cell squeezed in there. I know there isn't a lot of space, but it would be nice to go up to the 200 mark. Also, the power spacing could be a little bit better from the mid to high. Now, this one is a high cost light, so I would say it's for someone who is very much into their torches and lights, an enthusiast, or possibly as a gift idea or a present. So let me know what you think on this one, and I'll see you soon.